Баба Боуи. Вестджет. What is up, Amber Herds and Lonely Nerds? My name is WestJet, and today we're gonna do a little bit of an inventory update, because last video did really well, and I've spent a lot of money on this godforsaken trash video game. As you can tell from my classic skins, I've pretty much only got the Glitch Pop, the Prime, and the, the iconic RGX, which I think is one of the best classic skins. Well, actually, the Z classic might be, but, you know, I didn't get my hands on it, unfortunately. For the shorty, all I got is the Sinatra Odi shorty and the Amazon Prime Jeff Bezos. You don't understand how expensive a lot of these skins are. Like, you look at my inventory, $4,000, right? I don't even have that many Frenzy skins. All I have is the Glitch Pop Frenzy upgraded, the Prime Frenzy, no Radiantite. I, I'm not going to upgrade it because Glitch Pop Frenzy is superior. But, you know, your boy dripping on the Ghost. We got that Mage Punk Ghost. We got that Sovereign Ghost, and that's it. I lied to you. <laughs> we got nothing. Why would you spend money on a Ghost? The Ghost is mid. The Classic can right-click the Ghost camp. It's basic math. You can shoot three bullets. That's like you could kill three times as much, literally. That's insane. I did, however, go into the S&P 500 and invested my Deagle. We got the Ion Sheriff. We got that limited edition Arcane. Great show, by the way. I also don't know why I have my hands on the Aristocrat. I skimmed over it really quickly. Kind of embarrassed, but yeah, the Mage Punk Sheriff kind of bussing. Doesn't look that good, but feels good, which is really the most important factor. We got that Reaver Sheriff in black and white. Speaking in black and white. Next up, I got that Sentinels of Light Sheriff. Unfortunately, Sentinels sucks, and they're like top 10 in NA, which is the worst region in the world. So like, yeah, we don't use that skin. Singularity, always a classic. We also got the uh, Sovereign Stinga. So I was playing this godforsaken game since the beta, and uh, you actually needed to upgrade like every single variant in order to get the last one. I don't know why I wanted the orange one for my Spectre, because nobody used it. I, I wanted to be like a low-key bandit or something, and yeah, I have that. I don't know why. I don't really have that many tumors in my brain, so I only have one Bucky skin that's not upgraded. Same as the Judge. Like, if you have more than one premium Judge skin, you're, like, crazy. Like, uh, unless you got it in a collection, which I, you know, whatever. Like, fair props to you, but, uh, yeah, Glitch Pop Judge meta. Same thing for the Bulldog, basically. Glitch Pop Judge, not enough uh, upgrades for Radiantite. But I also managed to pick up uh, the Rush Bulldog, which, as you can tell, I'm not very happy about. And, uh, you know, back in, like, Episode 1, Act 1, it looked really cool. It looked like the CSGO Asimov skin. I don't even know why I upgraded this guardian i think somebody gave me money on stream a long time ago to do it and this is why i stopped streaming i don't want to be gaslit into buying guardian skins that is disgusting then i'm gonna see somebody here going like people could have eaten that guardian be grateful i'm like dude shut up now for the important skins the phantom skins we got that blastex and that red variant that was blue uh we have that grit pop phantom i actually never used that skin i'm not a fan I'm a hater of the Glitch Pop fan. We got the Sinatra Oni Phantom right there. We got that blue variant too. We got all the variants of the Prime Phantom. Looking quite sexy, sexy. We have the Protocol Phantom in all the colorways. I'm going to go back to the pink one and emphasize of its swag right about now. There it is. Beautiful stuff. The Recon Phantom in red camo. Great variant, by the way. The other variants mid. RGX Phantom, of course. New re released Phantom skin. Good looks. We got the blue one as well. Ruination Phantom, a bit of an underrated skin. I don't really see it popping around much, but it is it is quite nice. It is quite nice, to be honest. It is beautiful. The green variant, too, like oozing straight bus. And we're not going to talk about the Rush Phantom. We're going to slide over it onto the Singularity. We got that blue and red variant. I, I like the skin. It's, sometimes it's hard to control, but the Spectrum Phantom, no, I am not on a Spectrum, although some of you might believe that. Pretty good skin. I like the sound effects, the kill animation, EDM concert. Good looks. And uh, yeah, now let's move on to the Vandal. We got that Elder Flame. We got the Champions Vandal. Limited Edition. We got that Endeavor Vandal. I don't really know why I bought it. I regret that purchase. Take it back. We also got the Foreskin Vandal in the yellow and green colorways. The Gaia's Vengeance in all the colorways. I actually really like this skin. I like the sound of it. It looks pretty cool too. Like It looks like God of War type of beat. We got that Glitch Pop Vandal in all the colorways. I don't really know why I bought all of these. I think the Glitch Pop Vandal is kind of mid. Like I put it in maybe like the top 15. It's all right. We got the Origin Vandal, a very good. Speaking of Origin, we got that new Doctor Strange movie that just came out. Apparently, it's awful. Not going to spoil it. I didn't watch it. But uh, yeah, we got that Prime Vandal, iconic, all colorways. You must have that, must have, as well as the Reaver. You know, beautiful skin. Honestly, I think I might have every single premium Vandal skin. I don't know about every single colorway, but I do have all of them for the RGX. One of the best Vandal skins in the game. A lot of people agree with that. Sentinels of Light, also a beautiful skin. Also got every colorway. We got that watermelon sugar high colorway. We got that pink colorway. We got the default looking sexy. Beautiful skins, man. I, I love skins. I love wasting money on pixels, which won't amount to anything when I'm inevitably dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, what am I saying? It's a skin video. Calm down. Marshall Mage Punk, not bad. 
beautiful stuff. We got that Ion Operator. We also got that uh, Cavalier Operator, my favorite skin in the game. Elder Flame Operator, Psych I Lied. Also, uh, I just wanted to quickly mention, this is not me flexing in any way. This is just me showcasing an inventory. Like, I wouldn't really flex skins on you. You know what I mean? It's not really the best investment. It's just me showing you how brain dead I am and how much money I spend on a virtual game, which will probably be dead in the next two months, let alone a year. But yeah, Gravitational Uranium Neuroblaster Operator, I equipped it. That's how swaggy it is. It's a verified skin. The Mage Punk Operator is also beautiful. You never really see it around. Those are two of my favorite op skins by far. Anyways, the Origin Op is quite nice. I should get my Reaver Op upgraded because Tens uses it, and I'm a really big fan of Tens. The RGX Operator is quite clean too, especially the Finisher. I really like the swords coming down. Sentinels of Light Op, not nah, bad, and that's pretty much it for my ops. I think I just realized that I had a spline colorway, so I'm going to go back and look over it. You know, I got the nice one, you know what I'm saying? I'd be straight busting. Also, I'm hella sick making this video. I'm literally dying. I need some water. It's actually bad. Looking at some of these Odin skins, I got a lot of these Battle Pass skins who nobody really cares about. A little, a little Battle Pass collection, and we also got the yellow variant. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's look at the knives. We got that RGX butterfly knife dripping out the wazoo. We got that uh, some battle pass skins too. I think there's 54 total. I have 35 on the knife. So that's not bad. The art artisan foil. Blade of the Ruin King looking good. Katrina knife. We have the Celestial Mulan fan, obviously. The limited edition Karambit. We got the foreskin, the Gaia's. We got the, I don't know what this is. The Protractor. We have the Glitch Pop Axe. The Dagger. We're not even going to talk about the Hive Mind Sword. Get that out of my face. We got that Ion Energy Sword, of course. k tag from the Battle Pass once again. This thing's basically an NFT. You don't see this around often. For good reasons. It's ugly as hell. Nebula Knife. Don't talk to me about that. The Oni Claw. Beautiful skin, of course. <laughs> Disgusting. But yeah, we have the... Uh, I don't know what this knife is even called, but it talks back to you so you can like pretend to have friends in your voice chat. So that's pretty cool. We have the Prime Axe, Prime Crab, but I actually upgraded mine because I was really depressed and on a big loss streak. It's actually a disaster. I'm also brained at that recording. I recorded the video, I talked over it, and then I, the audio footage corrupted. So now I'm going to go back and talk over it. And I didn't realize how fast I skimmed through the knife, so I have to slow down the video. You know, very scuffed here on the WestJet channel. I mean, wait, wait, granted, you can expect the highest tier of quality here on the channel. We, we provide content, like Mr. Beast level content. We got cameras everywhere. We got the hood. All right, RGX Katana, probably the second best knife in the game, to be honest. I'd argue behind the butterfly. The butterfly is just too good to pass up on. We got that Singularity knife. I don't know why I bought that. Waste of money. It's very ugly and boring and plain. Not like a plain, but like, you know, a bagel. We also got a freaking Smite knife, the best knife in the game now that I could argue easily and win that debate. And on that note, I think it's a good time to end the video on the best knife in the game. The rest of the skins are battle pass and like the Sovereign Sword, so nobody cares. But the Smite knife is the pinnacle of Valorant. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. But I know that I don't and I- Post outro gang, comment, Smite knife is the best knife in Valorant. We gotta spread the word.